that didn't go good. What happened? I literally just like sat and argued with them for an hour. Up? Yeah, I figured. Yeah, like what? we're going out. Really? They're, they're saying like, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, but it's, that's what's happening. They're like, can't you see that this will be better for our game? You're you and we'll protect you. And what did you tell them? And I was like, it doesn't make any sense. I'm like, you have two people over here that are both very strong competitors and they're both going against you and they have been for a very long time. I'm like, you've got two people over here yeah. where one of them has always had your back, has had fought to keep you in this game, never would have put you on the block. I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why wouldn't you? And then they're so like... So that's what, this was like me talking about Dallas. They just wouldn't listen. They're, they pissed at, they're pissed about that because you sat here and told Manny Ramsey and told everyone in this room that now you guys got to get the brothers out and brothers are the rush and you went against them at, right after they saved your life. And and so then I try and say, you don't if, if you talk to them today, don't even bring up the Dallas shit. No. It just pisses them off because yeah. they know that they were in the wrong and that's what they do when they know they're in the wrong. Yeah. I'm, I tried to say, like, if Jared stays in the house, like, he will continue to be a target. Like, and uh, I'm like, if you get rid of Jared, you guys will be the next biggest target. I'm like, you'll put, I keep saying, you'll put me up on the block saying that you want me to stay day in this house and I will go and then the one person that you have in this house yeah. will be gone and I literally am, and they're just going like you're so narrow minded like this is your game you need to start thinking about yourself and why this would be better for you and I'm like this they're like, just because you're attached at the hip with Jared doesn't mean anything and you're acting like his wife right now and blah 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 and I'm just like and they're like you suck at this like you're trying to strong arm us and I'm like I just don't campaign and when I do campaign this is what I have to do and I'm like and Phil I always talk to you about game I always they're like we don't have a problem with you we want you to stay in this house we want to work with you pretty much and I'm going like if you fuck this up and put up Jared I'm like I and they're like fine go against this and go against this and next week and see what happens and I was like it won't just be me that's against you it'll yeah. be everyone in this house yeah but they said, we've had eight weeks to build a relationship with Jared and he will not build a relationship with us. He doesn't want to talk. Whatever. I'll have one last conversation with him. I'll go in there with Tim. Jared, stop that. What? what? Maybe stop chewing on that thing? Oh, shit. Say um, and then they kept saying, like, this is your second chance, and you've just did the exact same shit, and there's no... People are going to want to take you to the end because there's no way you could ever win this game. If it's final two, like, you oh. would never win. And I was like, could you guys stop saying that? I'm like, it's just, like, you're just being rude now. And they're like, well, what? What have you done in this game? What have you guys fucking done in this game? You've been if, it, if, if it's final two, like, there's... Kels, come on. Like, there's no way you're going to win. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck you guys. Yeah. You never want to comp. This is your second chance and you just keep doing the same shit. It's like, actually, ugh, I'm like, whatever. So you think you're going up with me? Yeah, I think that it's me and you. And I think that you're going to be the target and there's a very good chance that I will go. We'll get us off the game. Oh, I don't get what people's fascination is with me. Well, and that's what I kept saying. I was like, they're like, it's a big game move. And I'm like, it's the exact same game move that was made last week. Why don't you shake things up, try something different, and do something that hasn't been done yet? Yeah, people have been trying this for four weeks now. Three weeks, something. You, you need to talk to them. I don't fucking know how to talk to those imbeciles. They're the stupidest human beings I've possibly ever met. And I have worked with some pretty dumb people. I'm just like a little frustrated because like I've literally been telling you for so long that you either are going against those boys or you're working with them. I can't like I And you haven't even you haven't even pretended to try and work with them. I've tried. We all had a huge game plan. And what did they do the moment we all had this brilliant game plan? Who had that brilliant game you plan? You were in this fucking house, so watch your mouth. You were out of this house. I watched it happen and I realized that they fucked up and went against you and I tell them that. I said that. I, under, I understand why you did it. But you needed to move forward from there. You needed to try and do something. I did. And then what did they do the next week? Make a deal with Maddie. How did the, where, where did that put us? They, didn't, the make a, they didn't make a deal with Maddie. Bullshit. I don't know. 
they just keep saying we've had eight weeks to build a relationship with him and blah, 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 blah. We just... I just hate that I have no control over the situation because they were given things, had things. They were handed. The brothers aren't splitting up house guests. Don't worry about them. Here's that HOH. I fucking hate it. This the big brother has literally handed them everything on a silver goddamn plate. And I'm like, what the fuck? Make them earn something in this fucking game. Yeah, it's true. Like, everything. They could have been fucking gone by now if big brother didn't get involved. And I told them that, and they, I was pissed. I'm like, you guys fucked my whole game. Only last shot in this is to go give them some security for if you're to win next week. Because I said to them, I'm like, if you make this move and I win anything, then I'm going to put you up. I'm like, if you don't make this move and I win next week, I will I give you my word, I would never put you poison. Yeah. There's other people in this house that haven't even been on the block yet that are just coasting through this game and I don't like that. You need to go give them that same security. <sighs> that's your only option. That's, yeah. your, that's your last, last ditch. chance. Yeah. And if they don't and if they don't even take that, you need to say you need to say, we sat in this blue room and Maddie and Ramsey talked shit about you. They told us that you said this, that, and the other thing. You need to, like, if Maddie and Rose are going to throw you to the bus and say that you went against them, be like, no, there was, there was a lot of people in that blue room. I wasn't the only one in there. And you went against not just me, but other people as well. And, and you need to go, I understand why you guys did it. I understand why you guys did it. You, you, you're right. We could have got out of Dallas. I, I, you can't argue with them. You need, to, you need to make them think that you understand where they're coming from. But then you need to say, look, we can either squash this and put our heads together, be like, I know it's week eight, I know that whatever, be like, say, if there's a triple next week, a double, if I win anything, I will not put you boys up. And then if the time comes and you think that you need to put them up, and get rid of them, and just fucking do it. Mm -hmm. But you need to go talk to them, you need to talk game with them on a boys level and make some sort of fucking deal with that. Because we're scrambling a little bit right now. Yes, we are. And at this point, it's it's messing with my game as well because I will be on the block I for know. a fourth time I and I could very well go home this week. Yeah. So... You need to go do something. Mm-hmm. Like, I... Like I know. I need a cigarette. Yeah, I go for about seven of those right now. I'm sorry that we're in this spot. I don't blame you. I get why you've been, never trusted the brothers. It's fine that, it, like, it is what it is. You're right. They have been handed this on a silver platter. But Everything. I can't handle people like that in this fucking world. You need to make them know how much Maddie and Ramsey have wanted them out just as bad as you have. And Raul. And, and other people in this house. Say, tell them, if, if I, boys, if I leave, who do you think the next target is gonna be? Without me in this house, for us to get rid of each other? Oh, it'll, it'll it, just, it just angers me that people just don't have the, their father didn't bestow any courage to these boys. Hey.